you can be in favor of fracking for shale gas, or you can be in favor of fixing the climate, but you can't be in favor of fracking for shale gas and fixing the climate. <laughs> to fix the climate, we need to build a carbon neutral energy system. That means using electricity to get our heating and our transport. It means um, using energy much more efficiently than we use it at the moment. And Britain, disgracefully, is one of the most energy wasteful countries in Europe. And it means taking carbon emissions out of the electricity system through renewables. We know how to do all of that. We have the technologies. If we do it in a smart way, we can afford to do it in a way which is good for the economy in the short term as well as the long term. And, you know, when I was a climate change envoy, I was going around the world trying to build alliances with people to push up the level of ambition in other countries. I've just come back from China. And in Britain, in China, believe it or not, Britain has a reputation for being a pioneer in building the low-carbon economy. But if people start to look at us and say, actually, that's stopped now in Britain, and, they're go and what they're doing now is to locking themselves back into the high-carbon economy through fracking, then I'm afraid that cuts off our diplomacy at its knees and greatly weakens not just the British effort, but the global effort. Politically, what this is about is to create short-term opportunities for people who are not from the communities where they're going to be operating to do something which is far more disruptive than they're pretending at the moment and in a way where all of the costs and all of the risks are to be borne by the communities themselves. It's fraudulent politically. <laughs> and economically, it's an illusion. It just doesn't do most of the things that are being claimed for it. Does it help to fix the climate? No, as I've explained. Does it displace coal from our energy system? No, because we're going to have to retire all of our coal in less than the time it would take to get that frac gas on stream anyway. Does it improve our energy security? Not particularly, because we'll be still be importing most of our... If we, if we keep gas in our energy system, it will still mostly be imported, at least for the next 20 years. Does it reduce the capacity of Mr. Putin to expose us to energy blackmail? No, we don't import gas from Russia. It doesn't do any of those things. And it doesn't offer any significant prospect of large-scale production, as I've said, for at least 20 years, and we need to solve our real problems in our energy system, not in 20 years, but in a much shorter time frame. There, there is no serious conversation about the kind of economy we want to build in this country and the kind of country we want to be. And I think people are thirsty for that conversation. They want to rally about a positive vision for the economy that brings people together. And the main reason why I think fracking isn't a terribly good idea is because I think actually it's something that will drive people apart, not bring people together, and we need to be brought together. Thank you.